everyone. Um, my name is Emily Sergent. I'm a pre-sales engineer at Denodo Paris. And today I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to connect any web service with a Denodo data virtualization and then use it for, uh, for example, BI projects and other uses. So let's start. First thing I'm going to do is share my screen. And so in order to do that, I went to one of my favorite places to find uh, interesting APIs, and that's what we call uh, this Open Data Paris portal. So it's opendata.paris.fr. Uh, so this is where the government of, of Paris has published all sorts of interesting data sets. You can find them by looking at les données, and then they're, they're classified by theme. So the one that I found, which I find kind of cool, is uh, lieu de tournage à Paris. Basically, it's all of the film, uh, all of the film, uh, 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 filming locations on in Paris. So um, you can see here that this basically is an, uh, a simple way of, of, of starting out and finding information with that API. I've listed 100 rows to get started with. It has different, uh, different places, different uh, fields that you can add. And then once you've set that up the way you want, you can open up the API itself. So here you can see it's in JSON. Uh, you've got uh, the year that the filming took place. You've got whether it's a television show, you've got a brief description, who's the uh, director, who's the producer, and so on. Now, what you'll notice too here is that if I wanna use this directly in, in many BI tools, it's not very practical. The data is in a, a format which is very specific to an application, and it's not very practical for other uses. So what we're gonna do is we're going to um, take this API and that via this endpoint that you see here, and we're going to connect it in Denodo, and then that will open it up for other usage, including combining it quite simply with other data sources if you'd like. So I copied the URL here. Now I'm going to go into Design Studio. Now Denodo Design Studio is our full web client which allows you to build a data virtualization layer. So that data virtualization layer starts with the data sources, then you build what are called base views, which are sort of windows into the data in each one of those sources. And then you build business views on top of that. And it's really easy. So let's start here. Now you'll see here on the, uh, on the left-hand side, we have what I call virtual databases. So a virtual database is really just a place where you're gonna put your data sources and organize them into something that will be usable by your end users. And the first step is to create the data source. So I'm gonna go new, data source, and then I'm going to choose JSON because the format of this API is JSON. I'm going to call it um, Film Locations. And here, since it's coming from the internet, I'm going to use the HTTP client. Then it's as simple as configuring the endpoint here. So uh, here it's a get endpoint, and I just took that same URL. Now, if I want to, I can set up the pagination here. I'm just going to stick with that 100 uh, records to start with. Um, but also the other important thing to notice here is you can set up the authentication. So the authentication here, we're, we're working with a public API, which is open to everyone, but you can also with Denodo work with commercial APIs and those often require a form of authentication. It's more frequently OAuth too, and you can set that up here too, just so you know that all of that is possible. Okay, so I'm just gonna test this. I'm gonna make sure it works, looks like it does. And we're going to save. And now I'm going to create my base view. So one of the things to keep in mind as you're working with, uh, um, with data virtualization software is that the data stays at the source. So every time I ask for the data, Denodo is going to, on my behalf, go and ask for the data from Paris. That way I get the freshest data, the most up-to-date data. Um, but you have to define these windows, which basically tell it how to find that data and how to, uh, and how to present it back to me. So one thing I'm going to look at here, one thing that's interesting is you'll see here I go back to my API, that there's some data here on, that's not really interesting. All of this parameters here and hits, I'm not really interested in it. Actually, what I'm interested in is everything that starts here at records. So I'm going to tell my base view to start there. And I'm going to do that by defining the JSON root. So basically, I'm saying ignore everything until you get to this piece here that I'm interested in. And that's where I want you to start. So with that said, I'm going to say create. 
and Denodo does the rest, okay? So it asks for that data, it brings it back, and I have it here. And one thing that's interesting to know, and this is really important, um, this data is fairly rich and it has a, a, a structure that has uh, you know, fields that are at several different layers. There's real hierarchy here. And Denodo is going to conserve all of this hierarchy so that you can use it later on. You can leave it with the same structure or you can build a new structure if you'd like to. And I'll show you how that works. But for the moment, we're just going to execute this. There you go. Okay, so I can see my data here. And so something that looks like a select star kind of like the way you talk to any old relational database, it's actually calling that web service. And I can see that I've got access to all of the different data here. Okay, so that's my window, as I said, that's my base view, that's my building block. But what I'd like to do is take this, because it still looks pretty technical, and there's some things here that aren't that interesting uh, to an end user. So I'd like to uh, sort of slim it down and turn it into a business view. So in order to do that, I'm going to choose what's called a selection. I'm going to create a selection uh, business view. So I'm going to create a new one, and I'm going to take this base view, and I'm going to use it uh, as the starting point. So all of this is visual. You can do drag and drop. I've got my starting point here and it's on the output field where I'm going to, I'm gonna first give it a name that I like, and then I'm going to get rid of any information I'm not interested in. So let's get rid of two of these fields here, which I know are gonna to be too technical for my purposes. And then let's look again at this data, which is hierarchical. I'd like to bring that up a level. I'd like to make this view more flat. That'll be easier for my users. So what I can do is take this hierarchical data and I can project it and I can bring it up a level. Okay, so that done, you'll see that here. I can once again, get rid of a few things that aren't all that interesting. Uh, And, and you'll notice that, of course, you know, what, what's often true is that uh, web services have a lot of technical fields. So it's really important to be able to remove them and come down to something which looks um, more familiar and useful to an end user, at least if you're doing analytics. Um, so, so really, it's important to have their uh, needs in mind. So I'm going to save this. Okay, so I've got my new... Uh, data source here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute it. And there you can see this is what my uh, what my web service now looks like. It looks like a data source which could have come from an Excel file. It could have come from uh, from um, from a relational database. It could have come from a data lake. The same idea. And one of the important principles of Denodo and data virtualization is that no matter where that data comes from, it looks the same way. Okay, so now I've got my data. Let's take a look at what it looks like in uh, Power BI, for example. So here I've got a, a, a here I've got a report in Power BI. I'm going to open up the data source, and let's find that view that I just created. It's this one, Filming Locations Paris. And here you can see I've got the data here. I can load it. and work with that data in my BI tool. So anyway, I hope this showed you how quick and easy it is to work with APIs, how you can then use them quickly and, and, and transform them for, for analytical purposes. And I hope especially that this is gonna make you wanna try it out for yourselves. Thanks a lot, have a great day.